Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect peace, perfect grace, and perfect kindness that's here for us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity to work on a soul level. So we talk about soul contracts, this and that. If we could very simply notice that soul contract, Akashic record, whatever wording or, or dynamic you want to use, one or 20, if we could let anything involving criticism be revisited right now, including self-criticism. And if we could very simply let that be void with the stamp of like, okay, we're not going to criticize anymore. Void. If we could just breathe in and very simply let that paper dissolve. And let's say a few things out loud. Thank you, angels, for being with me. I choose to speak directly to my cells. I choose to no longer criticize myself. I choose to no longer judge myself. I choose to be kind to myself. I extend those same intentions to others. I choose to not criticize others. I choose to not judge others. I choose to be kind. I forgive myself for everything in the past. I forgive myself for everything in the present. I forgive everything, I sorry, I forgive everyone for everything right now. Wonderful, if we could breathe in and just notice with all that, Let's notice you having a new footprint, a new imprint on the planet. So sitting right where you are, lying down right where you are, if we could feel everything being brand new. And perhaps noticing the chair, the cushion, the sofa, whatever it is, the bed being brand new. And your relationship with being alive and in a body being brand new right now a kinder, gentler atmosphere. Free of thorns and things that are prickly. Releasing, being right. Forgiving any survival technique that developed in childhood, understanding that and recognizing as the mature adult that you are, that you have more options including peace, including your experience at looking at fear or hard situations or hard conversations and doing so with grace. So if we could breathe into all those energies and this said, good morning, everyone. If we could just breathe into taking out the trash emotionally, letting things have a new landscape like fresh snow. If we could just breathe in and let everything be brand new right now. If we could let Archangel Ariel stand right with you, perhaps right behind you, and letting her um, brush you off, like comforting touch, just a light touch, and letting any energy that doesn't serve you be moved away, and letting an enhancement of being alive, an enhancement of your cells, an enhancement of your peace of mind, come forward through that angel's touch. And if we could really feel into the friendship between you and Archangel Ariel. And if we could breathe in, let her stand behind you and hug you from behind, hugging you around your upper body and neck with her head right next to your head. If we could just breathe into that. 
And if we can notice this archangel telling you that she loves you. And if we could feel how vital and alive it feels to be in new territory, new emotional territory, new spiritual territory, where everything gets better. And if we can honor the agreement of the things that we release to experience something new without self-judgment, without bringing in the judgments of the past into this present moment, and noticing indeed, what is it like in this moment to accept this archangel's love and attention? What is it like in this moment to be extremely kind to yourself and generous to yourself? To directly interrupt any old thought of like, oh, here I go again. But to be kind and to be fresh. Let's very simply notice that landscape. And if we can notice laid out in front of you from Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Haniel, a new landscape, a new garden. If we could just very simply just breathe into that. And indeed, if we could notice and letting the three archangels point out all the good in your life right now. Wonderful. If we could um, almost like step into the side for a moment, if we could let these three archangels, if you were in the middle of a triangle of the three archangels, very simply letting them um, create a space around you of perfect immunity. To feel your immune system sparkling, working perfectly. And if we can notice there's a quality to that, it's not overtaxed and like a hamster on a wheel frantically running to keep up, there is a pace to it. There's a pace and a um, steadiness to your immunity. If we could just breathe into that. And to feel how graciously your body is taking care of you. If we could notice a specific detail with that, which is in doing things like you're doing now, this kind of health space, that you're replenishing and refueling your body, your cells, and your soul. And that helps keep your immune system vital and alive. So if we could just breathe in and notice this moment of vitality, if we could notice any event that might have happened where people you know might have gotten sick and passed, or are struggling now, if we could very simply notice your safety and we'll let the angels extend themselves to those people, anyone who needs health, who needs some wellness, letting the angels address that. Anyone who is grieving the loss of people, let the angels go in those directions. And if we could notice, this might sound complicated, the words are that having a oneness experience without a, without a meshing energy. So if we could just breathe in and hold the space that the angels have established for you and to feel your safety and serenity, but also very simply notice your compassion and empathy, what other people are going through and allowing them to be in your field of attention. So if we could just breathe into that. And we'll put that in the form of prayer. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for being with every single person on the planet right now who might need a boost in their health, be that through a virus or injury or a condition. We allow right now our diagnosis. We very simply allow right now for health and wellness to be showered upon every single human being, every single animal, every whale, every bird, every dog, every cat. 
and we choose to feel and notice right now that our, our atmospheres are safe, our collective and shared spaces, every store, Times Square, every airplane, every train station, every airport, every home, every vehicle, every bus, every train, every ferry, every space where people congregate, every grocery store being filled with love and peace, every living room, every telephone call. Thank you for showering peace and the vibration of peace, including peace that comes through the vibration of a steady voice, the vibration of prayer. We celebrate all of this right now, and we see the might of the angels, the might of Mother, Father, God, the might of the guides that we know by name, the masters, the goddesses. And we celebrate this collective prayer for humanity to heal, to be healed, to be cared for, for anyone who's passed, who's passed away in the past eight months or more from a virus. We honor those souls, we honor their transition, and we allow grace to be present with all their loved ones, everyone who's aware of them or knows them by name, everyone who might have helped them. We see grace happening in all these different dynamics. We infuse right now for every doctor, nurse, medical staff, hospital janitors, administrators, anyone working to help ensure people's health. Thank you for infusing them with perfect wellness and peace of mind, knowing that all is well and all will continue to be well. And we celebrate all this goodness right now. So let's just take in a breath. And we'll just notice that the angels are on it. And if we can let that big prayer create space and noticing how you connect with that bigness by holding space right where you are, with your own wellness, with your own care. And getting very specific, every glass of water you drink at home, any cup of tea, any meal you eat, that you are safe and well, and there's greatness happening right now. So let's just breathe into that. And with all that said, if we can come back to the triangle formation of Ariel behind you, Gabriel and Haniel in front of you, if we can notice in that triangle that you're in the middle of what they communicate to you, what these three angels communicate to you. And if we could feel in this moment, cellular connection between you and the archangels. And let's feel that connection in every single cell in your body. The cells in your brain, the cells in your eyes, the cells in your heart, the cells in your elbows, the cells in your joints, cells in your organs, in your muscles. And feeling vital, feeling alive. and letting any experience of grief that you might be experiencing now, have felt in the past, or anticipate feeling, if we could very simply 
let the three archangels attend directly to that grief. And in their care and attending to that grief, let's notice them very simply squeezing grief like a sponge and letting some of it spill away. And what Archangel Ariel is saying about that, it's like um, if there's uh, too much water in the pasta pot that's boiling pasta, very simply we're gonna let some go. So nothing's oversaturated. If we could just breathe in and let some grief move, grief for jobs, grief for people, grief for spouses, loved ones, parents. Grief for things that aren't happening. But just breathe in and let ourselves be tended to. Wonderful. We'll just breathe in. And like a breath of fresh air, if we could come back to our original work of releasing um, self-criticism and judgment, if we can notice in the space afforded by that agreement, let's very simply notice kindness. And if we could notice new beginnings the road to new beginnings being paved with kindness, with generosity, with relaxation, with compassion, including self-compassion. If we can notice what it's like to be very generous with ourselves, very kind to ourselves. And very specifically, letting this be an act of self-kindness. So we'll just breathe into that. So indeed, if there is fresh pavement in front of you, let's notice you writing your name on that pavement or asphalt. So there's a permanence to this dedication to self-kindness. And let's say a few things out loud. Let's just breathe in. And in your adult voice, as your adult self, let's say out loud, I am kind. I am kind to myself first and foremost. I am kind to others. Kindness includes boundaries. I cease giving away my happiness. I fully embrace my happiness right now. Wonderful, we'll just breathe in. Wonderful. So let's notice this triangle of angels. Let's notice the poet William Blake, indeed whose birthday it is. Uh, William Blake saw angels his whole life, downloaded from angels, wrote poetry and created art based on what he saw, what he knew. If we could just breathe in and just notice his presence, perhaps as a wise one, Perhaps noticing his smile. The fact, the angels are bringing up the fact that he was beloved by friends. People loved him. If we could just breathe in and notice his presence with you. He's most famous for tiger, tiger burning bright. songs of innocence, songs of experience. If we could just breathe in and notice what he adds to this moment.
Just take in a breath. We'll just breathe in. And if we could notice his journey, he struggled in life at times, especially with um, his own work and poverty. If we could notice his own self-acceptance of kindness and what he can offer you about that right now. Wonderful. And we'll read a line of his poetry. He who sees the infinite in all things sees God. He who sees the ratio, sorry, he who sees the ratio only sees himself only. Therefore, God becomes as we are, that we may be as he is. Let us breathe into that and noticing it's safe for us to see the highest good, safe for us to notice the presence of Mother, Father, God in each moment, and the divine in each moment. Let's just breathe in. And if we can notice that path of kindness being laid out, and let's notice what it's like to walk on the path of kindness, to travel their word, on the path of kindness. Nothing to escape, nothing to fix. A space of support, a foundation of grace and ease. Of centeredness place of calm and all this being brand new. And if we could say out loud, I am brand new right now. I am healthy right now. I appreciate who I am. And I begin again now. Wonderful, we'll just breathe into all that. Noticing all that good, all that peace, all that love and all that joy right here, right now. Everything present, nothing missing. Let's indeed saying, let's indeed say out loud, everything is here. I am here. The angels are here. Wonderful. If we could just take in a breath and we'll come back to noticing Ariel, Gabriel, Haniel, and noticing what those, that trio of angels, what they share with you. Let's breathe into the fact that you are loved, including the love from the three angels right now. Let's really feel that love.
Wonderful, we'll just breathe into all that. And if you could notice on the pavement, on the asphalt, what the angels write into that surface permanently. Wonderful, we'll just take in a breath. And if we could just very simply notice our significance, your significance. And just noticing that. The masterpiece that is your life. And we'll lovingly breathe into that. And with this breath and with this generosity, we thank the presence of Mother, Father, God, and all the archangels and ascended masters. We thank as well the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity for great peace, for great love, and for great joy right now. And we celebrate life. And we thank Archangel Ariel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Haniel. For their help and their love, we thank William Blake as we honor him on his birthday. And we celebrate poetry in the world, including living poetically. And with generosity, peace, and ease, we quite simply ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time. And so it is.